Pizza Beal, you're in front of Macy's where people are, oddly enough, having a problem with a Santa in front of that store. What's going on? I'm chasing a Santa who's been very naughty. I'm right in front of Macy's in Herald Square at the intersection of 35th Street and Broadway. And on Sunday, there was a Santa here who was not the official Santa that Macy's likes to have inside the store. It was another Santa, Santa sitting right across the street in a chair asking for parents and kids to give him five bucks for a picture. That upset Macy's, and needless to say, by the time I got here on Monday, there were two cops making sure that there was no other Santa who was gonna be outside the Macy's, aside from the Santa that's already inside the Macy's. I also ran into some costume characters who also were told that they had to move and they could not stay here in front of the Macy's. Do you guys come here often at this Macy's? Uh, no, once a week. Oh, once a week? Okay. Yeah, once a week. And have you ever been bothered before? No, really. Not really. Just That's what I'm, you know, I'm really impressed at what, what happened yesterday because I, I, I don't know anything about what, what happened yet last night. But, but do you think it's unfair that you guys are being, being kicked out? You didn't dress up as Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's not fair. As we know, this is a huge attraction. There are tons of kids, tons of parents coming to Macy's, looking at the beautiful window displays. It's the perfect spot for a costume character to get tips but that bad Santa kind of ruined it for everybody. The cops were called to Macy's to police a runaway Santa. That, that, that really happened. When it comes to capitalism, right, Macy's wants to make sure that people come inside and don't just, you know, the Santa outside. That's the thing. Isn't this a corporate crackdown, Hank? Well, I, I just, my question is, when did Macy's purchase 6th Avenue? As far as I know, the real criminal here is the one charging $35 to $50 for a picture with Santa. Here's a guy charging five bucks. You're in, you're out, bang right in front of the store. He hasn't done anything wrong as far as I'm concerned. I nominate him for Capitalist of the Week. I think if you go visit a Santa at a Macy's, that money isn't just going in that Santa's pocket. It's going, I'm sure, to taxes. It's going to fund, uh, you know, help Macy's a corporation. It's going but, to Macy's stockholders. Is well, it's fine, going. but it's Well, still, that's a worthy cause, Diana? <laughs> Macy's stockholders? I, I mean, you know, it's a legitimate business, and I think I'm glad, I personally am glad that this Santa was taken off the streets. I want to see if Sabil can get somebody to pay her five bucks to take a picture with her. I would, I would, I'd give Sabil ten bucks she to take a picture to with her right now. She can undercut the guy. What it's do you true, think, Sabiel? But, but Macy's might get furious. You guys, you guys are nice and comfortable in the studio. There's some heat in there. I'm out here in the cold on the street, and let me tell you, it is not easy. I'm only wearing a Santa hat. It is not easy okay. being a Santa. So well, let's see what you got. Let's give it a try. Hustle. Whoever, whoever's willing to hustle out here in the cold, in the wind, and actually take pictures with tourists all day long, yeah, I think they deserve however much money they do get. <laughs> You guys are just being lazy, nice and comfortable in there. Sabiel, Merry Christmas you. and good luck out there.